Viewers around the world watched the somber farewell ceremony for the Duke of Edinburgh in April, and all eyes were on the once famously close princes. In the lead-up to the funeral, the palace said William, 39, and Harry, 36, would not walk side by side behind Prince Philip's casket during the procession to the chapel. Instead, the two brothers would be separated by their cousin Peter Phillips, the only son of Princess Anne and the Queen and Philip's eldest grandchild. The funeral came just a month after Harry and Meghan, 39, shocked global audiences by claiming in their Oprah interview that an unnamed royal had made racist comments about Archie's skin color. Writing in The Times, historian and royal biographer Robert Lacey said the Duke of Cambridge and the monarch, 95, were behind the plan to separate the royal brothers. He said, when it came to the funeral the following weekend, William and his grandmother worked out together how, in the prevailing circumstances, he could not possibly walk in harmony with Harry behind his grandfather's coffin in the way that he might have done in the past. The device of recruiting cousin Peter Phillips, Princess Anne's beefy son, to serve as a diplomatic buffer between the two brothers had been deployed before, two years earlier at the Easter Sunday service at Windsor in April 2019 after William and Harry had gone public with the news that they were splitting their combined households. After the ceremony, Harry was pictured chatting to the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. It had been over a year since he had seen them in person and tensions were running high following his bombshell interview with Oprah. While some royal fans saw the chat between Harry, William and Kate as evidence that the tensions were beginning to thaw, Sources claimed there was still anger towards the Duke of Sussex over his actions. In an extract of the updated version of his book, Battle of the Brothers, Mr. Lacey said family anger ran deep. He continued, It was not by accident that neither Anne nor Sophie exchanged a public word with Harry in the course of the afternoon. People felt incensed by what they saw as the calculated and focused cruelty of the TV interview and by the hypocrisy of Meghan relating so brightly to Oprah how she had phoned the Queen to show her concern about Philip's condition without even considering, apparently, the impact that their televised catalogue of grievance might have upon the invalid's morale and health. The Oprah interview aired while Philip was in hospital. Many royal fans were critical of the Sussex's decision to go ahead with the TV interview while the royal family's patriarch was on his last legs. Harry is set to jet into the UK next week ahead of a July 1st event at Kensington Palace. The Duke will appear alongside William as they pair unveil a statue in honour of their late mother Princess Diana on what would have been her 60th birthday. Meghan, Archie and baby Lilibet will not be joining him on the journey, reports suggest. A source told The Sun that William and Harry will give separate speeches at the inauguration ceremony. A royal insider said, they will both move heaven and earth to be there. They commissioned the statue together. It is very important for them. There is, of course, hope the memory of Diana can repair their relationship but that seems a long way off right now. The brothers will be physically together for the ceremony but want to make their own personal addresses.